Um, so I coach dancers, and I love um, facilitating workshops and um, going in with the idea that I can envision their greatness and, um, and sort of like holding that place for them and watching them play and watching them kind of like come into the fullness of all that they are. Um, and I try really hard, as I've been listening to you, to um, really be mindful of not inserting myself into their experience. Not projecting conditions yeah. over their progress mm -hmm. in order to feel good. So yeah. how are you doing? How, how, how is that working out for me? How? <laughs> well, we know, that, we know that it is working out for you. Mm -hmm. We were wanting you to express what thoughts you've been thinking to hold yourself there. Because, you know, in, a, in an environment like that, there are those who excel, those mm -hmm. not so much. And so if you're asking the question, who can jump the highest, some may, some may win and some may lose. If you ask who's having the most fun, they're all on an equal platform. Can you feel what we're talking mm -hmm. about? If you're asking, yeah. if you're asking which is the richest experience, they're yeah. all in an equal place. But yeah. if you're asking who came with the greatest ability before they even got there or who has the greatest strength or, uh, or what. And so yeah. it's a, it, this is a good conversation to have about this unconditional stuff because Absolutely. what really matters, the conditions are not so important about, are they? Mm -mm. Yeah. No. And, and see, the, yeah. it, it's, we want to say this in a way that you can really hear it because we, we can feel a little uh, wobble in your vibration when we say something like what we just said. So we, we, let's take a moment and clean this up. So if we say to you, we want you to live unconditional love, you, you get that theoretically. We've talked about it enough today that you get it. And then we start demonstrating how to pull back or, or turn your attention from the details of the condition rather than trying to alter them because that efforting just adds more emphasis and more momentum to the very thing that you're trying to let loose of. So we talk about this generality, focus generally, find the emotion of it, and then watch what happens. So, so it sounds like what we might be saying is if you can focus unconditionally, you can then change your conditions. And that sounds like a contradiction to the message because it really isn't the conditions that we want we, we want you to focus unconditionally but the reason that we want you to focus unconditionally is because of the prejudices you already have placed on the conditions in the way you're focusing when you start focusing from a place of of non-resistance or non-wobble then the conditions of your life experience will take on more detail so we're not trying to teach you how to be less human or less physical or have fewer manifestations. In fact, you want more of all of those things. We are, we are only showing you the easy, natural way, easy, leverage way to get there. So, but we want you to understand it. And, it, and our discussion about Esther, thinking that she'd caught us as she was basking over conditions if you can it's like getting the horse before the cart rather than the cart before the horse it's about finding the place the vibrational place first and then allowing the manifestations to erupt as a result of those but you you have to continue to be mindful to care about how you feel first and foremost because you can flip it at any time without meaning to in other words you could have conditions that bother you and so you don't give your attention to them our friend whose father's from India sort of was talking about that conditions conditions that are overwhelming so you withdraw from your attention and then find alignment and then in finding the alignment the momentum uh, becoming more and more and more you could at any time mess up your alignment by becoming conditional but it's only focusing on the absence of what you want that messes up your alignment in other mm -hmm. words we, we've written several books and all of them we were helping you pivot we were helping you to focus upon what felt better we were talking about whether you're going upstream or downstream we've been talking about about 
looking for the positive aspects in things. We've been presenting books to you and encouraging you to focus on anything and focus upon its positive aspects. And in all of that, you have been improving your vibrational point of attraction. Now, as we are talking about this step for living where you're wanting to sustain it. Now you, now you reach the place where you can, you, if, if you want to, you can hold yourself in an definite, infinite, chronic place of allowing only what you want if you are willing to in the moment that you begin to feel a wobble withdraw your attention from whatever is causing you to wobble and allow yourself to stabilize within the subject that is important to you without introducing the resistance to it then source who adds their undivided attention to it then it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger so you get the results that you want faster and you hold yourself steadily in this good feeling place of never ending expansion all right you sort of heard that it was a little rough let's clean it up what do you think about this you like the idea of trajectory mm -hmm. and you certainly understand that you were source energy before you got here we can feel you getting that more and more so how does this sit with you from where you are right now you're here you're tuned in tapped in turned on waiting for inspiration and it's coming steadily the path unfolds but when you s step into it you realize you're in the middle of a problem a problem so Abraham does that mean that along my path along my trajectory along my purpose for life that there could be a problem and that it's a good thing because it's on my path yes because with the problem comes the solution and without the problem doesn't come the solution and without the contrast that caused the problem that brought the solution there is no expansion really so so it really is all all right so where I'm standing is all right so the so the so the less than is part of the more than so so Abraham are you saying that my inner being in my aligned state would actually lead me on a path that would present a problem to me because in my focusing upon the problem I'm actually focusing the solution into place do you hear that all solutions are born from attention to the problems so you got to stop beating up on yourself when you're standing on your path in the problem phase because it's all part of the path and when you know that so you're not condemning yourself you're not calling it a problem instead it's part of the unfolding then it all starts to be fun we watch you you climb mountains for sport <laughs> Because you like being at the top and when you get up there it was worth it wasn't it it was worth it and so so we we just you get carried away in the step one part of it and and you have more pain than you ever need for the gain that you have but really you can't get this wrong you can't get it wrong and you're not ever going to get it done there's always something something of value we just it's so nice when you orient yourself into this place where you are accepting of where you are because it's the right place and it's the right time to be where you are and now what what do you choose from where you are and what you always choose is you always choose to feel better and sometimes better means faster sometimes better means slower sometimes sometimes what you're reaching for means to be with more people sometimes it means to be with less people there's not a condition that you could state that this is the way to live because you are flexible beings and and your expansion is all about where you are and what's next and there's no not ever going to be a place that you're standing where you say there now I've got it done now everything is in place there's always going to be something else that you're reaching for always mm -hmm. and if it's not being fun then something's out of whack because the source within you is having fun here and now the source within you is enjoying your moment in time if you aren't something's off and you're the only one who can get it back on which almost always means just lighten up be nicer to yourself or be nicer to somebody or just take a nap do anything that you can do to stop the momentum that doesn't feel good 
And we don't want you sleeping all the time either, but... <laughs> but it's better than continuing momentum if you don't feel good, you see? Good, we sort of chewed that over in a way that you're hearing it. So, oh, so yeah. now what? <laughs>